Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and my tutorials. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you about the lookup value function, which is in Power BI. And I'm going to take an example of working with currency exchange rates, wherein you can match the date and the currency for that particular transaction and bring in the values and calculate it into, into a different currency. So let's get started with this tutorial. Before that, I'm going to show you the sample data set that I have over here. So the first table that I have over here is the sales table wherein I have my order date, which is where we will be, we will be calculating our um, currency exchange rate upon. And then we have our sales amount and then we have the currency in which the sale has happened. All right. And then the second table wherein I have the exchange rate of that particular date and what the price was or the exchange rate was and the currency itself right so let's get started so i'm going to go here into my sales table and click on these values and click on new column so once we add this particular column over here let me just increase the size of this and let's name this as exchange rate is equals to i'm going to use the lookup value function over here so the first argument of the lookup value function is the result column name what is it that we want from that particular lookup value it works just like a vlookup function in excel all right so the for what i want here is the exchange rate or the currency price right so i'm going to type in the table name over here and the column name is exchange rates price okay this is what i want comma and then the next argument over here is which column do you want to search in so i want to search this in let's say currency first column over here comma and the next argument the search value what is it that you want to search in this particular column which is my currency column from my from the sales table so i'm gonna choose that comma and then let me just go here to the next line and then we can go on with the values now we want to match the dates so it's asking me to enter the search column name the second column name is going to be from the exchange table i'm going to select date over here comma and then what is going to be my search value that is my search value is going to be the order date from the sales table i'm going to choose this i'm going to close the bracket here and then press enter so let's go back to our data set over here and see that we have now added a column called as exchange rate. All right. So all these columns have now been populated based on the currency that we have over here and also the date that we have made that particular transaction. Now, if you want to calculate this in USD, now basically the exchange rates that I have over here, all of them are values from euro for example over here to usd okay likewise i have for gpp as well and if you have to calculate you can simply use the same exchange rate column over here lookup value i want to multiply this with my sales total sales column okay sales and uh, total sales total sales okay and then i'm going to press enter and then let's go back over here to our table data set and then if we go here we will see that all of these now values right we will we might have to rename this to uh, sales in usd all right so now you will see that we've now made uh, we had the sale in 9.12 uh, uh, euro which is now when converted to usd has now become 10.17 likewise if you see over here 129.3 which is in gbp has now become 169 dollars in usd right and so this is how you can use the lookup value function to uh, which works just like the Excel uh, VLOOKUP function and bring in values. But please be aware that this function takes a lot of processing time, especially when you have huge amount of data and it has to be used only in scenarios where you cannot use joins within Power BI and fetch the data. There are some instances where you can you don't you cannot self join uh, the data in the uh, power bi so you will have to use lookup value functions also please note that this lookup value function will throw an error if you have multiple values for example um, so for let's take the first transaction over here which is 3rd jan 2020 and then we are looking up against euro now if you had 3rd jan 2020 euro and another row with 3rd jan 2020 euro lookup value function will not be able to tell which value to fetch so it needs to only have one single row when you're looking up against that particular 
uh, columns right so that's it guys in this particular tutorial i hope this video helped you you've learned something new today please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials